Mike the Idiot wrote Coom instead of com. Okay, you can search Blog Talk. I have the link, but Walking in the Power of the Kingdom. Let's type that in, see if you can find it. Walking in the Power of the Kingdom. Searching. Uh, searching, searching, walking in the power of the kingdom. I don't see it right away. Uh, maybe type in Skiba and something else. Anyway, let me know if you find it. All right. Uh, Sarah, I appreciate that. She's giving a second witness out of their own words, Skiba and God Game, talking about Bill Johnson. Sarah, I appreciate that. I appreciate the... Um, the information, I don't like doing things like this. Uh, let me throw this in here um, uh, while we're dealing with it. Um, this is from Wales, Ian from Wales. Hi, Pastor Mike. I've never written you before, but I've been a listener for over a year now. really enjoy your concept on things. I'm a listener from the UK. I'm in a small coastal town in a place called Wales. You have a prince there, don't you? Uh, I know you're a busy man, and praise God for the Bible coming alive in such a way these days to keep us all busy in these end days. But I'm just listening to a show of yours on YouTube, and you mentioned Chuck Missler. And I hope people are not going to him for biblical answers, as he is a deceiver and a government shill. My friend and brother, Dr. Scott Johnson, has done a great teaching on him that exposes why he is not to be trusted. However, Mike, the main reason for this message is because I have a friend over here, and I recently introduced them to your teachings, and I finally got them to read the KJV instead of one of the corrupted versions. But the trouble is that their dad is a follower of Michael Rood, who is a forerunner for the Hebrew Roots Movement and also involved with The Way International. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, the Way International cult, as you probably know, every time my friend has been to see their dad, they're talking about how it is important to follow the Jewish feast, to observe Sabbath on Saturday and just another day. Uh, their dad was has told them that the Greek New Testament is corrupted. I could go on, Mike, to see they're all birds of the feather here. Um, anyway, my question is... Well, let's see. Let me, let me finish here. I could go on, but I find the Hebrew Ruth movement hard to expose... <coughs> And the followers can get very nasty when you say anything against them. The fruits of this cult sure look bad to me. I believe the root of the problem to my friend and their family is Michael Rood, who is creating the doubt of God's word and leading them back <coughs> excuse me, under the old law. My question to you, Brother Mike, is... Do you have anything that exposes Michael Rood? Because there is not much to be found on him, and he is just like Todd Bentley and John Hagee, but a different fragrance. Misleading God's children like the devil does. You're in my prayers, Mike, and I pray the blood of Jesus on you and praise God and thank him for your ministry. Much love in Jesus' name. And he has a little smiley face on there. From Ian from Wales, from the belly of Wales, UK. Um, here's, one, here's what I do know about Michael Rood. I listened to him. I, I've only listened to him talk one time on a DVD that he, or video that he made for the Club O Prophecy. And he starts out on there that he's, I mean, he just, he's wandering in the vast wilderness of not knowing who God is and, and not, and just not knowing what's going on in the church. And it doesn't seem like, you know, they all start with, oh, the church is bad. Oh, church is bad. Oh, the, no, there's no good churches anymore. And he said he was, and he said that the, the thing dawned on him that the Bible was translated wrong. So he goes to the original Hebrew, and he starts looking at all this Hebrew stuff, and he says, I've, I've got things I want to share with everybody because the Bible is not translated right. You need to go to the Hebrew and need to think a Hebrew and be a Hebrew and, and say things the way Hebrews say and keep the feast and grow long hair, and you need to do all these things if you're ever going to try to be a Christian like I am. Well, here's the problem. Number one, you're speaking evil of the way of truth. You're saying that, it's, you're saying that my friend is wrong. And I don't like that. Um, something, and you can find this out. It's there's a there's a piece on YouTube if you'll type it in. Michael Rood got fired by his own ministry. I don't know if you knew that or not. He got fired. The reason being was he had a ministry board that was overseeing what was going on. He started skimming money taking money, buying stuff and doing stuff with it. And the problem is you got to pay taxes on it. If you take money from the ministry, I get paid by the ministry, but taxes are taken out. 
And so he was taking money, wasn't paying taxes. The IRS came to the board and said, you guys owe us, I don't know how much money. And they said, what? And they showed the documentation how he had gotten all this money. And they said, got to pay taxes on it. You're liable. You, the ministry board, are liable for the tax bill. And they did their own investigation, and they said, you know what? They kicked him out. They fired him. But in the process of fire, when he caught wind of what was going on, he took a bunch of stuff out of the office and moved out and went. And I guess he's still at it somewhere else. And, of course, he's denying everything. But, I mean, this made big news in the wherever they're, they're located. And um, I, I just, again, if I had never met these people, I wouldn't have a, you know, but when when I meet somebody, I don't like confrontation. But I am reasonably sure that, and I'm not going to be looking for it. But I imagine that by the time we get to Dallas, somebody might have words with me. I might just let them talk. I don't know. So your prayers are coveted for this ministry. Here is um, another. Tra I had all kinds of stuff today. I always get, I get sidetracked too easy on the live broadcast. Um, people send me a lot of emails, and I appreciate that, and they ask a lot of questions, and I'm, I really try to get to them. I really do. If you send an email um, to the Pastor Mike Online live broadcast, and it doesn't get read, send it again. Here is Tracy who writes in. He says, Hi, Pastor Mike. One of the most disturbing things I've heard Skiba say is that he believes that the books of the Torah, that's how he says it, are the most important books of the Bible as those were given to Moses directly from God. The only books, the other books were only inspired works. He gets all his info for his books, DVDs, etc., from the books of Enoch and Jasher. He and Peter Goodgame believe in laying on of hands to heal people, and Goodgame has what he calls healing rooms. I've debated with Skiba several times on Facebook. He's very, very arrogant. Uh, I agree with that. I've, I've tried to discourse with him, and I, all I get is the arrogance out of him. I know he does not believe um, in the translation, or at least I don't think he does, and I'd have to examine that further, but... There's just something not right about this guy. He's trying to get a TV show launched because that's his background. He's an actor slash director, and it's called Seed, and it has to do, you know, with the Nephilim and all this stuff. Um, I don't know, but anyway, pray. Hey, you know what? Pray for him. Pray for him. Uh, pray that he'll just believe this book. Pray. You know, I'll tell you what. Pray that God will wreck him like God wrecked me. Because that was really when I started listening to God, when God took a rod and staff out and comforted me with it, if you get my drift. Here is a video that somebody sent me. Um, a church called Ignite Church. I wouldn't call my church that. Somebody might do it. Um, this is Ignite Church, and there's a reason why I'm bringing this up. The Ignite Church, where's my pieces of paper? I had tons of pieces of paper here. Here it is. The Ignite Church in Joplin, Missouri. One of these New Age coffee shop churches. Apparently, they are doing... Another deal on ritualistic fornication in the church. Like um, Ed, what's his name, Jr., down in Texas, up on the roof of his church in bed with his wife for 24 hours because the cameras were there. It's, the, it's all about getting in the news and getting everybody to know who you are. And so here is... Some guys, and somebody sent me this, and I'm going, I don't believe this. I don't listen to this kind of music. I only, I've heard this part, like on a commercial. There's a song called, I'm Sexy and I Know It. 
And you're going, oh, no. yeah, they did. This is, this is what happens when you speak evil of the way of truth. This is the, this is the spirit that you get turned over to. Take a listen. Girls be looking like always fly. This is a I'm him to the bee, walking on the street, my new love freak, yeah. This is how I roll, animal print pants out of control. It's a red boo with a big afro, and like Bruce Lee, I got the glow. Oh, oh, girl, look at that body. Oh, oh, girl. Church service. Worshipping, worshipping what? Now, and you can find this on YouTube, but I think they edited a portion of this video because later on, as these two guys are singing this song, apparently God got involved. <laughs> When I walk on the spot, this is what I see. Everybody stares, they're staring at me. I got passion in my pants, and I ain't afraid to sh Yeah, what a shame. Uh, apparently, uh, apparently God was watching what was going on there, and a little divine justice. Uh, anyway, the um, that was all tongue-in-cheek, by the way. That was just a little fun. Um, the Ignite Church. You know what I have a... I thought I did a... Um, oh, you know what I... I didn't get my graphics ready. Oh, man. Hang on a second. Um, you know what? I don't, I don't know if I have time. Let's see here. I sat here and I had all kinds of time before the broadcast and I, I guess I wasted it or I got excited about uh skeever or whatever and uh so anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to talk and um i'm going to try to talk and do things at the same time cuz i have some graphics to show everybody and um i have to okay, okay yeah i want to do that i want to do that okay i've got them okay now i got to import them so you can see them this is the ignite church let me add this graphic here so you can see what I'm talking about. And while you look at that, uh, let me get rid of Talk Show Hell Hates. There we go. This is the Ignite Church. Now, this is the pastor, Heath. Um, I, I just, I don't know. What, what, are you tr what are you trying to sell when that's your... Um, when, when that's on your church website, what is it you're trying to sell? Where did they get the idea for the Ignite Church? What is that all about? Well,